Yeah. Okay, look at this guy. We got sine u and we got cosine v. That means we have two different triangles that we're getting, that we're pulling uh, trig ratios from. So before I attempt any of these dudes, I think I will attempt this guy and we will attempt this guy. Before I attempt any of these dudes, I need to know my triangles. So to find my triangles, let's see. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do 39. I want to do uh, this one, 40. Yeah, because 40 is related to 42. All right, so let's do my first triangle. Okay, for you. Okay, for you, I get um, 5 over 13. Now, if this says 5 over 13, which side do I know? I know the opposite side, and then I also know the... Um, oh, dang, it says it's in quadrant 2. I just noticed that. So we got to make sure we draw this in quadrant 2. All right, bam. Okay, so this is going to be U, and this is my reference angle up in here. Okay, so my opposite side is going to be 5. My hypotenuse is going to be 13. And then I have to find the other side. How do I find that other side? Oh, yeah, wait. Isn't this a Pythagorean triple? It's 5, what, and 13? 5, 12, and 13. And that's a negative 12. That's right, foos. Okay, so that's U. Uh, now let's look at V. V is also in this uh, quadrant. For V, we have a negative 3 and a positive 5. How come the 3 is negative? How come not the 5? Because the 5 is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always going to be positive for everything that you do. All right, so uh, the other side is going to be 4. Boom. Okay, so now we have our angle V right here with our reference angle inside. Okay, so we have angle V, we have angle U. Now we can find um, number 40. Okay, so number 40 says uh, sine of V minus U. And the formula for that is sine cosine. So I'm going to go sine of V uh, uh, cosine of U. And then, um, I, that, that's a V. It, it kind of looks like an R. Oops, sorry. That's kind of bugging me. All right, let's, let's just rewrite it over here. Okay, so we have sine of V, and then cosine of U, minus sine of U, cosine of V. And then we look at our, our triangles. What's sine of V? Let's see, right here. This one. 4 over 5. So I get 4 over 5. And what's cosine of U? Cosine of U is right there. Uh, negative 12 over 13. Boom. Minus. Okay, and this one is sine of U. What's sine of U? Sine of U. Sine of U. The U is over here. That's going to be 5 over 13. That's what we were given anyways. 5 over 13. And we're given cosine of V, which is negative 3 over 5. We have to multiply those dogs. So I get, um, what is it, negative 48 over 65 minus, actually, that's going to be a positive. We got 15 over 65. Uh, denominators are the same. All right. So we get, what is that, 33 over 65. Okay, so that's our answer for number 40. And cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. And since we're doing, oh, man, they're not the same. Dang it. Because I thought this said u minus v. And this said u minus v, but that says v minus u. Stink. See, if the insides were the same, we would just have to flip this. And then we would find cosecant. Well, I'm just going to write that now because I don't want to solve a whole other one. Cosecant of v minus u, which is not this one, would be negative 65 over 33. So you would just have to flip it. So for this one... Um, since I didn't find this one, what you would do is you'd find sine of u minus v by doing all this stuff, and then and then you would um, then you would get your answer. I think you just have to switch these two right here to do sine of u minus v.